fans, it is time for Friday Night Frenzy. Matt Satilli is out tonight, so this week, it's Friday Night Glenzy. I'm your host, Glenn Kittle. Tonight, we have a host of highlights, including baseball and softball and lacrosse. Oh, my. So without further ado, let's get right into those highlights. Monument Mountain softball team visiting the Smith Vocational Vikings. Start things off, bases loaded. Avery Raffis Stranger crushes it deep to the outfield. Jade Adderhalden scores. Jade McKee comes in for another run. And first, we have a play at the plate. Raffa Stranger almost making it an inside the park grand slam. Five to nothing Spartans early on in this one. On to the bottom of the first, Annalise Krasinski with a nice hit to right field. Caitlin Willard scores to put Smith Vocational on the board. Now watch this heads up play. Spartans batter hits the ball into center field, but the outfield is able to get it for an out and double up the runner. Heads up play, way to keep your heads up, ladies. That's the final out in this one. Monument Mountain crushes Smith Vocational 25 to 10. Staying in Northampton, Chicopee Comp visiting the Blue Devils. We're holding a two to nothing lead early. Bryce Trumbull at bat with one on and no outs. Trumbull hits a shot deep into the outfield. Adrian Gonzalez scores all the way from second. Trumbull's RBI cuts Northampton's lead to two to one. Next Colts batter, Brendan Ringman. He hits a laser into the outfield. And Brandon Brochure and the Bryce Trumbull score to give Comp a 3-2 lead over the Blue Devils. Still in the top of the third, Tyler Healy hits one up the middle. Gavin Williams scores from third. And Daniel Sharada comes in behind. Ticket Comp leads 5-2. The Colts go on to win this one 9-7 over the Blue Devils. Granby visiting West Springfield Tuesday morning. 11-0 in the top of the fourth. Bases loaded for senior Christopher Torres. He hits it deep enough that junior Philip Coran can tag and score on the sack fly. That's the Terriers' 12th run of the game. Terriers bring on Devon Torrey. It's a close one. Torrey gets the first batter to ground out. Second batter on this one. Not going to be much luck for him. He's going to pop this one out in the infield. Owen All gets that one for out number two. Finally, Torrey strikes out the third batter for a 1-2-3 inning. West Springfield win. Terriers improved to 4-2 four and two, two on the season. West side wins. 12 to nothing. Let's head over to the lacrosse field. Smith Vocational Boys Lacrosse on the road at Central Wednesday. 19 to 13. She, yes, she shoots from distance. And Smith Vocational on the board showing the boys how it's done. Kyle Pickering looking to tie it up. Blows past his defender, denied by the keeper. But now Pickering's going to be coming back for more. Look at him backing down his defender. Fakes one way, jukes out another. This time he makes it even. Puts it into the corner, making it 1 1. Smith Vocational on a man advantage now. The pass now from 21 to 10 off of the cage, and it's going to go into the back of the net. Look at the accuracy on that one. Pickering finding his teammate now, Aiden Collin, who loads and fires. Central ties it at two. They go on to win big. Central 10, Smith Vocational 3. Now the Central girls playing host to Monson on Tuesday night. Mustangs already up 5 to nothing when Samantha Shrewsbury passes to Nevaeh Kiaki who gallows past the defense and scores. Monson is going to be up next, passing it around the back of the net. The freshman, Julia Roy, skips it in. Central's goalkeeper on this next play, going to be making a save from point blank range. He limits the damage here for her team. Now another freshman is going to be joining up on the score sheet. Sophia Galarano charges in towards the net and bounces it home, jumps around. Monson's rolling eight to nothing in this one. Now off a free position shot, great save on the back end by Monson's Olivia Clemens. The Mustangs are going to go on to win it 10-3. They're back over the 500 mark. 